Bruh, your man Meek Mill is going through it today, bruh. So, there's a story out right now that's being caught up by a lot of major media publications. And they're publishing this story of Meek Mill having a party in 2014 that was hosted by Diddy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But here's what I don't like when they published. They said it was a drug-fueled party. First of all, this is America. Every club in America is a drug-fueled party. Miami, Las Vegas, Arizona, New York, L.A., Miami, wherever, bro. Wherever there's a party in America, it's drug-fueled. People are intoxicated. People are high. People are drinking. People are on drugs. That's just the truth of the matter. If we're going to be honest, let's be honest. Let's not act like Diddy was the only parties that was drug fueled. Stop that shit right there. There's a party going on right now in the United States that's a drug fueled party. Let's cut that shit out now, right? But here's what I don't like about this story, right? They say that Meek Mill party was hosted by Diddy. But why didn't they clarify or confirm that with Meek? See, that's why I understand what Meek's mad at. Because they didn't confirm it with Meek. Meek saying the party never happened. He said they're lying. You feel me? So I get where Meek is coming from. I would be very mad too if this drug-fueled party, birthday party of mine, never happened. I would be fucking upset, bruh. So Meek has every right to defend himself. Now Meek has gone into saying... It's a conspiracy against black men. <sighs> that might be true. Might be true. Matter of fact, it's probably a lot of truth to that. But here's the problem with that. It's niggas helping them, bro. Niggas is helping these stories, bro. Niggas is laughing. Niggas is with this shit. Niggas is with the conspiracy, bro. You got to understand that. that, that that See, that probably be the disheartening part for people like Meek Mill. Then when you up there... To see your people trying to pull you down. But that's just the truth of it, man. That's just the truth of the matter, bro. Niggas is with this shit too, bro. I mean, most hip-hop publications, most media publications are white-owned. So that's just a fact. But the, the ones that are black-owned, DJ Academics, The Shade Room, and a couple others. It's not a lot of black-owned media outlets anyway. But they with the shit too. They gonna publish the negative stories about black men too. So it's no... It's no protection for black people with wealth or black people in general is no protection for us by the media that just is what it is so meek is probably right it is probably conspiracy against black men but the problem is with me shit it's gonna be niggas that help the conspiracy you feel me it's just it's the internet now meek you feel me if the story's entertaining people gonna believe it